fam. So I'm starting to do this new thing with my vlogs and that's actually incorporating like Angela or Joey um, having their own little, I guess, vlog section. So if you guys really like it, uh, let me know. A few weeks ago, I had a vlog where I was working with Hector from Team One Take and Deviant Children up in New York and a conversation got started about the whole like modeling thing. And he's like, oh, do a modeling vid, do a modeling vid. And some of you guys asked for it too. So, I'm going to do a modeling vid. Yay! I'll talk about five tips for model beginners, I guess. And yeah, just to let you guys know, I'm not like a supermodel or anything. I'm just doing this as freelance. And um, yeah, I'm just going based off of my experience in the last eight years. Come makeup ready, at least have the base foundation so that way if you uh, don't know what you guys are shooting, you can always add more. Even if there is a makeup artist for a shoot, make sure you just bring backup makeup just in case the makeup artist doesn't show up. So that does happen once in a while. Yeah. And then Laura's here. <laughs> late. <laughs> it's okay. So well, I'm getting makeup my makeup done. Is late. <laughs> a clue for some of the girls. Sometimes it's worth coming a half an hour early because you don't know what the trap is going to be like. Come early. What's the thing for this shirt? It's doing like a spring um, flowers, different color flowers for mm. not like cheesy though. No, point, not point. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I have like the red. Um, like I think I want it to be real simple when she have big curly hair and just like the red lip and then just like the red flower and make it really like uh, and then cool. some of these are white. I don't know who else is doing this shit. <laughs> really are chances you'll end up doing it. Oh, cool. Okay guys, so tip number two is to wear loose clothing and I usually wear a button-up flannel or a button-up shirt just because it's a lot easier to remove because as you can see Lauren gave me pretty big hair, something in my hair and all this makeup so I don't want to ruin it if I have to like slip out of something. It's a lot easier if I could just unbutton my shirt and just take it off. And plus wearing loose clothing also... Um, allows you not to have any like lines on your body from like having tight clothes so that helps too. Anything to make it a lot easier for photographers to edit and just to make it look better. <laughs> Thanks Lauren. There was a situation where I went to a shoot and there were other models there and this girl was wearing a t-shirt and they did her hair and everything like really nice and they're just like uh crap we need to get your shirt off do you have another shirt? And she's like, yeah. It's like, okay, cool, because we're going to have to cut you out of this one. They had to cut her shirt just to get her out and not ruin the makeup or hair or anything. So definitely keep that in mind. Button-up shirts work. Because <laughs> I know Matt, you guys that follow Matt Granger, he always says, like, oh, I look like... A lumberjack or something well there's a reason <laughs> I wear button up shirts so yeah and I had her so it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm still editing but there are times when I have like a block in my head so I usually play video games to just kind of like uh, like wind down and there's one game that I always play and I always have in all of my computers that I always go back to. Max Payne Kung Fu Edition! Then again, you know, there's not, not, not a lot of games that have Kung Fu in it, so uh, I'll show you guys why I love this game.
spit like salsa. <laughs> like emoji. Like the <laughs> yeah. Like the emoji. <laughs> Take your time and do your tricks. All I do is sing along. Yeah, I need you. <gasps> no, it broke. See, guys? No lines. I know. No tight clothing. <laughs> right, yeah, see? What a concept. Pocket. <gasps> Oh, there you go. Cool. Nice. Right. Pose for the... <laughs> <laughs> Play tip number three. Practice your poses in a mirror. It may look weird and feel weird, but it actually helps a lot. Yes, it does. And if you're not wearing shoes, stand on the balls of your feet. Yes. With your calves <clears throat> And when you're posing, practice with your hands. Yes. Now here, a point that she, to make at this point is Steph turned to her side. Now she knows she's pinned, but she had her elbow exactly where she needed it so that I don't have any extra editing to do. So it's a good model that knows how to do that. I see the pins are in my back. <laughs> I was like, did I cover it? Yeah, you did. Bro. This girl's good. Guys, no, no lines. Yeah, no jean lines. No jean lines. Yeah. Nice. And when you're posing, if you have like little props and stuff, just like play with them. It doesn't matter what they say. watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon account. Uh, if you guys want to help support our future projects, uh, become a patron on our Patreon or buy our shirts, which I'm not wearing right now. I'm wearing this bathing suit thing. Um, but yeah, everything in the description below. And I guess until next photo shoot and I can give you more tips if you like. But uh, yeah, bye guys.